convict what's up welcome to my channel am i tripping or not tarot my name is cock frost but you could call me the ghetto nun so i am here to do right back monday yes i am so we'll do spiritual uh messages we'll see what comes out okay i do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it so if you do please get the fuck on i do start all of my cards upright in my deck i don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with your sign, nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit that like You'll be back in turn. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, uh, subscribes, shares, whatever the hell I say. Uh, purchases to my website, pledges to my Patreon, all that shit, yay. Okay, I love you. Convict. There's something strange going on. Something is wrong, is what I heard. That's Ghostbusters, but that's literally what I heard. That wasn't what I was going to say, but that's what they said. I don't know, G. That's not where I was going. I am picking up that uh, you're picking up, right? That the collective energy is picking up that there's something supernatural going on uh, that's kind of been cloaked behind Earth, if that makes any sense. Like, it looks normal on Earth, uh, but it's something else behind it. You know how Men in Black, every like, the dog was talking and the, the you know what I mean? The man was a, a alien. Like, all, it feels like something like that, like... Uh, Shit, they could be talking about y'all just looking human and have like these supernatural capabilities or abilities or something like that. But I still feel like it's deeper than rap, though. Some of y'all feel like some like uh, spiritual shit is going on. Some of y'all feel like somebody doing spiritual shit to you, like some witchy poot. OK, some of y'all feel your ancestors and spirit guys doing some stuff like you can feel them around right now. Some of y'all hear God talking to you just straight through. Uh, it's just, uh, shit, we going in, oh no, this is Aquarius season, yes, the star, that's always my spirit God, no wonder, boy, wonder, I'm like, I wonder why they tell me to do spiritual, no wonder, so we're coming out of Capricorn season, the devil, okay, that's where we're coming out, that Capricorn, not that Capricorn is the devil, but, uh, that would be the devil, okay, uh, the season we're leaving is the devil season, okay, so I feel like this is a time for restoration and healing. Uh, this is that return to sender energy. So let's just say the dark energy, the dark lords and all that shit, they had their time from what? December the 20th, December 21st, all the way until now. Uh, something's about to reverse or something's about to be revealed to you, convent, or some shit. Damn sure some healing going on, reconciliation. I'm um, picking up on obviously right but there's something with the veil coming down yes this is the age of Aquarius so there is no veil but something specific about this uh, Aquarius season for sure mm -hmm. things are just gonna come to you uh, they said you could feel it in the air hold on yeah I don't know but I've been waiting for this moment. Maybe you have for all you life. Somebody name could be Phil. Shit. Or last name Collins. I don't know. Or your first name Collins. Somebody's name. Let's move on. Let's not get stuck there. Uh, let's see what's up. Spiritual. Give me some spiritual messages here for the convent. What do they need to know? <clears throat> spiritual messages for the convent. What's up? All right. Damn, this is my Kyra Roast card, but it came out reverse. So, shit. I mean, it's not hell, because uh, this will be roasting. Uh, so, it's not hell. So, that's good. But this is like uh, not going in on somebody. Like what you could say. You know what I mean? Or this is someone afraid to say. I mean, I don't know why that's the spiritual message right now, but that's what this is. So, I kind of feel like, confident. let's take it back to the spiritual. This is you, uh, you could be putting out um, content, work, whatever you do creatively or whatever your purpose is, your, uh, what you feel like you've been put here to do. I feel like you're very genuine and sincere about it. And this says that you don't really try to hurt anyone's feelings or... Uh, like up anyone one up anyone or it's not a competition that's what this says because if it was this way this would be like you roasting just reading the motherfucker they whole rights and shit like bitch boo 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 right this type of shit it's reversed 
So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it for God. You know what I mean? You're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for uh, to showcase to the world. You're doing it for to leave uh, generational wealth to your children. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it like whatever it is you're doing, uh, you're doing it for the right reason. So you do it for Compton. You don't do it for the gram, pretty much. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Some of you guys uh, are dancers or you compose, you write music, a composer, lyricist, you can rap or whatever, right? I'm picking up on a lot of creativity out here, but it's like you really do it because you love it, G, whatever it is, okay? It has nothing to do with the money, the likes, the comments, the woohoo, none of that shit, G. It's like literally you love it, you know what I mean? It's not even uh for anyone. It's not to get anyone specifics, like anyone specifics, uh, why am I trying to say this? Someone specifics attention. I guess that's how I'm trying to say it, right? You're not doing it to get the attention of another. Let's say that. You know how some people will be like, well, I know he likes models, so I think I'm going to start modeling. No, you would be a model just because you just really have a, a gift to model. You can, you know, fashion look good on you. You've always been into this shit. It's not to attract anyone or anything like that. It's like y'all are really, uh enjoying the way that God made you for this group I'm picking up on. Like, it's not a get back. Yes, this is not you being you. It's not a get back at anyone. Somebody may be taking it like that. Like, oh, they're just doing that to, like, oh, so I'm just healing, happy, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Praying, meditating and shit to piss you off. Okay, says somebody, but you're really not though. Okay, you're really not. I'm talking to some real people out here, okay? It's a real group out here, okay? So this is like, I don't care what people think, you know? I don't care what they say or any of that shit. You could, maybe you do care, but this is not responding to it though. At least you don't respond to it because it's like it don't affect what the fuck I got going on. And it doesn't. You're right. Give me another one. Yeah, the path to righteousness came out. Mm -hmm. Look at there. So shit, convent. Be careful. I was telling, I mean, shit, I thought Divine Feminine was about to go ham on somebody and she could. But she don't. You need the divine masculine. This is just like a keeping your cool. If this is not roasting, then obviously it's it's cool. If it's not roasting, it's it's cold. It's you know it's not. Uh, it could be warm, but because this came out, I know that you're keeping your cool. Okay, so everything around you is literally. I know we cool. Yeah, cuckoo. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, something's getting back into balance. Gwen Stefani. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it seems real light. I was gonna say that the fan cut on, right, and I pushed the button, but it take a while for it to warm up. And as soon as I started the reading, it cut on, and I was like, yeah, it feels real airy now, like real light. I feel like that's your energy, or you're supposed to be in this energy. This is the path to righteousness. So why would you be roasting? Uh, that doesn't take you to hell. <laughs> that takes you the opposite way. Yeah, so shit should be cool. Uh, right now you should be keeping your cool things around you. I mean, of course they could be better You like for things to be great, you know, or You know that type of shit successful, but right now I feel like you're cool And I feel like it could be a lot worse right now, which lets me know if you're cool Right someone else or some other people or some other situation is not okay This is you also keeping your cool on the path to righteousness here So I know some shit trying to test you now if you gotta if this has to tell me to keep to tell you to keep your cool While you're on the path to righteousness. I know something's trying to get you off trying to you know what I mean? Fuck with you tempt you some shit like that you for sure. It could be these hoes Yeah, this is my washed up hoes card because that's what that is. She's washing and that's a hose washed up hoes Just so you know, I'll be making shit up. So it could be okay uh, is what this is Has nothing to do with age. They told me to, to specify that yeah, a washed up hoe could be young as fuck You know what I mean for real like they just all fucked out burnt out smoked out, you know this type of shit. So yeah, yeah Okay Uh, convent, you may also see, um, I don't know where you guys, like, live, of course, right, because there's so many of you, but you may notice, like, a lot of different, like, um, 
or you may be drawn to places. You may be drawn to places where there's different like races and ethnicities. Like you don't want to be like subject to just one race, one group. Like you know what I mean? Like I want to live around everybody. I want to work with all different type of people. I want to, you know, you guys may find yourself drawn to to places like that, neighborhoods like that. I feel like it has something to do with your soul tribe because we already know it ain't about color and shit. You know, but it's something about like a melting pot or something like that, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are damn sure astral traveling, but you're astral traveling with ancestors, okay? It happens quick, too. Like a uh, 10 speed, okay? So some of y'all don't know, it's almost like a, they're giving me the feeling of a uh, Scrooge. Right when the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future comes to visit them, they're giving me that type of energy on how you astral travel with your ancestors, just so I could clear it up for you. So basically, they're saying some of you guys may be having dreams and shit, or I don't know if it's a dream or not, but you may be thinking about your past. You know what I mean? Seeing yourself as a kid or some shit like that. I don't know why that's uh, relevant, why you would be going back there. You could be looking through photo albums or just memories, period. But it's an ancestor taking you there. You also could be getting like visions or premonitions of the present. Okay, so it, if it's the present, obviously it's not about you. If you're being shown the present, you know what the fuck you're doing. So obviously if you're being the shown the present, it's about someone else. Okay, so some of y'all have ancestors taking you into other people's houses, brains, uh, bodies on some real shit, you know what I mean? Uh, all types of shit, okay? Uh, just to see what goes on with them. Why? I don't know. Maybe you need to know. Others of you, it's the future, and it could contain uh, you and, and someone else as far as they're showing you what's to come, okay? So that's so raven shit, all that shit. I see you keeping your cool. Shit, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe you've been shown something already, you know? Uh, it feels kind of peaceful, like, uh, like rest assured type energy like you know something i don't know maybe you are the uh phenomenon the supernatural shit maybe it's happening to you or you are that what i'm picking up on because you awfully cool to see a talking dog and, a, and the man that's the taxi driver that's a parasite or whatever that man or whatever the fuck they all are you seem pretty cool like oh yeah that's just hank I'm like oh okay you know so like maybe you're just used to you're expecting uh a miracle and blessings and things like that signs omens things like that wonders you're expecting these things so when you see them maybe that's why you keep your cool it looked like don't much shock you no more since we're talking about a spiritual uh thing okay uh in regards to spiritual shit nothing really shocked you anymore but i mean especially in this land you hear so much it's just like you know at first maybe it did but now you're just like I don't know. Like, no, I believe that she pee peed in his coke. Like, nah. None of us flinch when we hear shit like that no more. Have you noticed? You know? Like, like when they say shit. Like, yeah, they say semen, semen, semen. I don't even know what that is. Probably some new kind. Ain't no telling. Okay? But they be talking about saving semen and putting it in cakes and shit. And we be like, uh-huh. And I don't know. It's something about it not shocking you or something. Not that you would do it. But it's like nothing shocks you on this path to righteousness. You know it's just so much. The devil busy, G. The devil busy, but he ain't roasting you. That's all I know. Somebody's name could be Kaya. Or someone can drive a Kia. Or it's just spelled that way. Okay, but your name is Kaya. And you always got to tell people it's not Kia, it's Kaya. Okay? Uh, whoever I'm talking to. Uh, yes. Okay? I can relate. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is getting cut. I heard splitting hairs. Isn't that a, a saying? Yeah, horn just hung. I don't know what it means though. They're telling me it's two meanings. They're saying splitting hairs as far as H-E-I-R-S, as in an heir to the throne. So something splitting up. This could be divine counterparts. This could be families. This could be uh, you leaving a job to start your own business. It's something about splitting, splitting heirs and splitting hairs. So let's see what splitting hairs means, because I don't know. If you say that someone is splitting hairs, you mean that they are making unnecessary distinctions between things when the differences between them are so small they are not important. Yeah. So this like you making a, a fucking mountain out of a motherfucking molehill is what this is. Okay, yeah, but y'all not. Y'all keeping it cool. Okay? But, I, well, I put it to you this way. You need to. If you're not keeping it cool, comment, because this could be you overthinking. If they're saying splitting hairs is like uh, making distinctions between small things and different that don't even matter. So potato, potato, tomato, tomato. 
You know what I mean? So God, uh, most high, divine Elohim. You know what I mean? Like it's a it's a small difference, but it's kind of like the same or something like that. I don't know. I still don't know what they're talking about. Something about splitting hairs. I still feel like it's uh, H E I R S though. The fact that they told me, but I do still feel like that definition is relevant. Yeah, the rest of your life I'll take you to paradise. Was playing in the back. Yeah. So maybe, uh, so it could be, the splitting hairs thing could be something like where you ask God for like a husband. And you're like, I put in my order with cheese. Because everything must have cheese, Lord. <laughs> right? He like, I got you. Right? And then you get your meal, right? Which is your person. And you like, it got cheese and everything else. But it's like, not six foot two. It's like, five foot eleven. It's like, come on, man. That, that's what this splitting hairs thing. It's like, you're like, you know, like you got a good deal or... You still came up or something like that, Convent, so keep it cool. I was picking up on uh, Divine Feminine shit about not complaining about something, okay? So just make sure that's for everybody. Somebody also could just be, like, critiquing the fuck out your ass. Like, you know, like, somebody could be pointing out your flaws and shit, you know? Or you could be over, somebody could just be OCD out here. But because this is spiritual, I feel like you could be pointing out your own flaws as far as kind of being too hard on yourself. It's like being way critical on yourself. You don't need to roast yourself so bad. So this is like, I'm such a fucking loser, stupid, tarred, idiot, fucker. <laughs> it's like, it's not funny. But that's what this shit is. Okay, if it was upright. This is saying you don't need to do that, dude. You're doing just fine. Like, it's almost like you're, you guys, um, I don't know what movie that was, G. Okay, but it was some movie where, probably some Marvel movie or something, but the man was like, put on like this chastity belt. And every time he felt like he sinned, he would like squeeze it and make himself bleed. He was like a monk or a priest. It was some, I don't know if it was a scary movie or what, but I just remember him putting this belt on and he had all these scars on himself from like like uh, chastising or punishing himself because he felt like he wasn't like as clean or as pure as he could be or should be or some shit like that. That was like some vamp vampire shit, I think so. But in regards to you, I feel like that's kind of what you're doing to yourself. This is like being way too hard on yourself, splitting hairs. Like, I really wanted to put, you know, JJ into that private school and this and that, and he should have the best and all of that. But you found the best uh, either private school you could afford or you found the best public. You put him in the best public school. You know what I mean? He's still getting good grades. He's doing uh, activities. After, it's like this type of shit. It's like it's, it's a very small. It's like you're still blessed, convent. Okay? Don't forget that shit. You may be um, steady right now. Like, uh, and when I say that, like, it really hasn't been any movement. So, you know, chess games can go on forever. You know what I mean? But you're still in the game, though. You know what I mean? But you've been sitting there waiting to make your move or waiting on someone else to make a move or something like that. It could be God to make a move. You know, you can't move until he move or, you know, or it is your move. I don't know. But I feel like you're waiting on something else to happen. I feel like you've done all you can as far as uh, it's divine timing at play and all this other shit. Faith, patience, and all that. So I feel like if you've been asking yourself, like, am I doing something wrong? I mean, am I fucking up? Is this why it's... No, dude. I feel like you need to calm the fuck down. I do. Uh, keep it cool, stay chill, right? Uh, get rid of some dead ends. If you do have any loose uh, strings or loose ends or dead ends that need to be cut off, then then you should. But there's no such thing as a dead end on the path to righteousness, G. Okay, so I don't even know why the fuck that's coming out. That's very odd that that's there, which lets me know it's a washed up some motherfucking body uh, trying to like get you to turn around. This like a uh, like somebody just built a brick wall. Right in the middle of the path to righteousness. And you're like, okay, I, is that, I guess somebody expects you to be like, oh, well, I guess that's it. No, you about to knock that motherfucker down or climb over it, okay, or something. So, I mean, if there's some, this is some obstacle here, convent. I see you keeping it real cool, right, on this path to righteousness when you come across some obstacle or just be aware that you need to, okay. It doesn't mean you made a wrong turn. It doesn't mean that you went left or anything. It's a trick. It's, it's, it's a trick by the devil. It is. It's like the temptation of Christ type of energy. So that would be like him saying when he uh, was driven into the wilderness after being baptized uh, and the devil approached him. That would be like him saying, well, maybe John didn't baptize me right. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm really not, you know, maybe, nah, he was just being tempted. Like, like no, that's proof that you are on the path. You know, they say uh, thieves don't rob empty houses, G. 
So the fact that there is an obstacle there uh, in, on the path to righteousness, that would make me think that you are going the right way. Because who would put a, an obstacle there if you were already fucked up and going the wrong way? What's the point? Uh, you know, they're already going the wrong way. So that should be a clue right there. Okay? Anybody trying to stop you right now and going out of their way to do shit, the witchy poo, the fuck on your man, get you to lose your job, take your money, mind fuck you, whatever it is. Okay? That's how you know you're going the right way. Okay? Because whoever these people are, whatever this is, watches you. So it must know that you're going the right way. Because if it saw you going the wrong way, there'd be no need for it to get in your the way. You know what I mean? You're already fucked up. So this is the opposite of that. So just know when these obstacles or whatever this is that comes across you or whatever it is you're doing, we'll find out, right? Uh, keep moving. It makes me feel like it's an illusion. This is giving me seven of cups energy. There's no such thing as a dead end on the path to righteous on the path to righteousness, G. That's impossible. That defeats the whole purpose of it being the path to right where this that would mean this was righteousness. It wouldn't have even come up like that. Okay? So because it's the path to righteousness. So righteousness is a dead end? Come on, G. Come on, people. I said, come on, toots. My name is the prince. Besides, will the lunatic have a Porsche like this? Yeah, it's an illusion. Somebody's going to try to get you off the path, okay? Their name could be Will. Shit, I don't know. Or I don't know. They could be a DJ, a rapper. They could be from Philly. They could be from Bel Air, Beverly Hills. I don't know. They could have big ass ears. I don't know. They could slap motherfuckers up at the war show. And they just like this. How oh, it could be a pimp, okay? I don't know. But it's something like that, okay? Parents just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Throwback. Okay, let's move on. All right, y'all, so I did come out with a new deck. It's not the Tune In 2 deck, which I do have, but it's not going to be made till I can work out some kinks with that. But I did make a new deck. It's called the Lifelike Deck. This is going to be for sale in February on the website. But right now, we just fucking around with it, see what it does. I want to show you guys, uh, you know, how, how they read and stuff before you just start throwing shit out, you know. Uh, let you see a sample. So, we'll see what's up, okay? But, yes, the lifelike deck is what this is called. Uh, it's already in production, like I told Patreon. So, even if y'all don't like it, oh, well, it's, it's already, uh, they're already being made. So, you know. But, anyway, I hope y'all do. Let's move on. Put something on this uh, not getting roasted car here. Why is this here for the comment here? So it says, you're not a tree, just move. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Everything's cool. This is like you having help. I told you, it's something about your ancestors and spirit guides. That's what this feels. This feels like uh, ancestors, especially if you got a lot of menses. Okay, that done went on the glory and shit. I feel like this is them helping you. Shit, I heard move weight. Okay, so I hope y'all not doing that. Okay, but they could have used to do that. Okay, and they're just not here no more. Moving on. Uh, this is saying you keep it cool while you moving, G. You, you like cool as a fucking cucumber out here, convent, on some real shit. Something about your house being cool uh, is what this is, too. You know what I mean? Uh, you're cool to work with. You're a team uh, builder, team player, all that shit. Teamwork, make the dream work type shit. I feel like um, that may be what people don't like about you. This feels like I'm telling you, y'all. It's a whole... So, uh, a perfect example, right? Whenever I upload my YouTube videos, my shit be off by like a thousand fucking views, G. Like on my YouTube studio, for those that are creators, you know what I'm talking about. You have the YouTube studio, right, which will show you, like, all the analytics and all that other shit. But then just on actual YouTube, the app, it just shows, like, the views. Yeah, that should be off by, like, a thousand, uh, you know what I mean? Fifteen hundred or some shit. The numbers are definitely different. This is, like, just keep it cool, none, and just keep moving. They, I don't know if they want us to think it's a dead end. Like, maybe I should just give up. But shit, y'all done demonetized me for most of my YouTube career. <laughs> you just gave me commercials. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know if someone wants you to believe. I'm using that as an example, Convent, as far as to say, I don't know if they want me to say, damn, uh, look at look at your views. Why are you still doing this? You know what I mean? This is a dead end where you're never going to get an accurate count and people really know that you're doing better than what it looks like, none, your subscribers and everything. You should just quit now. That's what this energy is. But it's almost like, I mean, but it's cool, though. It's the same, but I'm not, I'm not hard up, though. You know what I mean? Shit's just fine. Uh, my ancestors, my spiritual team, God himself, they take very good care. I done moved how many motherfucking times, G? How many motherfucking times? And they hadn't paid me. They ain't put a commercial in there yet. Y'all know I just started Patreon however long ago. Wasn't that long ago in the deck and the clothes. You know what I mean? God just takes care of us. 
That's what this is, especially when we keep moving on the path to righteousness. You're not a tree, just move. And whenever I see a tree, I think about your roots, your ancestors. So that's exactly who that is, comment, okay? That's exactly who this is, so they're with you. So, so there is some obstacle or something coming up. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It could be a washed up hoe, okay? It could be a washed up dude. I don't fucking know. They be hoes too. So let's just use hoe for male and female. I feel like your spirit guides, your spiritual team is right next to you, G. I feel like these are the ones that are gonna pull the veil down to show you this is this brick wall ain't real, or they knock it down for you. Maybe that's this. Oh, maybe that's what you waiting on, Booski. You waiting on your uh to for God? They said for God to react. Amen. Mm hmm. I like that. That's why you keeping it cool. Cause you done seen him uh, ride for you before. What Hurricane Chris say? We slide behind Jesus, G. <laughs> for sure, G. That's why I said Lil Nas X probably gonna fuck around. Get he gonna get fucked up, G. For real. Okay. Uh, I don't know. He don't know people ride for that man. Okay. And and all type of shit. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's move on. But that's what this is, though. So it's just, just imagine something, uh, and remember Hurricane Chris, if I'm not mistaken, didn't he beat a murder trial? If I'm not mistaken, didn't he beat a murder trial? That first album was, was banging too. I think he only had that first one. Maybe he had some other ones, but that first one when he first came out, that whole shit was banging. But I think he beat a murder trial. But shit, when you slide behind, he was probably sliding behind Jesus way before that shit, just using him as an example. So this is this trial. This is him getting accused of murdering somebody, and he on the path to righteousness and shit. And he like, nah, that, that, can't be, that can't be right. I slide for Jesus. That's not how this go. And that, he got off, G. That's what this, that's you the same thing like Hurricane Chris, G. If we're going to use him as an example. Mm-hmm. It may not be you slide for Jesus. You slide behind God. You slide behind your, whatever. That's why I started in the beginning. Uh, when they were talking about splitting hairs, that would be us doing that shit. Well, I don't slide behind Jesus, but I slide behind Muhammad. I slide behind Allah, and I got all this. No, we just slide behind God, period, is what this is, okay? Meaning we'll ride for his ass, okay? Is what this is. You're not a tree, just move. This is like defying the odds, convent, is what this is, G. You're not stuck no motherfucking where, okay? Uh, and this is a plant. A uh, tree technically will be a plant. So there's something going to be planted in your way soon, Okay? It's coming to cut you down, to make you feel like you're going the wrong way. But that's the clue that you're not, okay? This motherfucker ain't no helper. A good Samaritan will tell you you're going the wrong way. This ain't no fucking good Samaritan or else they be on the, the, the road with you. Why would someone stop on the path to righteousness to be like, hey, you're going the wrong way and they're on the path to righteousness with you. That's either someone who doesn't want you to beat them, which technically they wouldn't be on the path to righteousness if you get what I'm saying. So why are they here, okay? That, that don't even make no sense. To cut you? That don't make no sense. This is somebody that's going to pretend like they on your side, G. Okay? Uh, they were planted there, just so you know. This person could be a blonde, a brunette. They could be a beautician, a barber, a lash tech, a brow technician. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they do. They could just sit around and talk shit all day and look in the mirror, honestly. Okay? Some of you guys, uh, somebody did save somebody's hair. Okay, and, and put it outside or some shit like that. Wherever this is, these people move from this place. So if somebody cut your hair and, and put it in a tree or a plant, I feel like it's in a tree, like in a backyard, they moved. So I feel like the tree get torn down or some old crazy shit or a tornado come or a hurricane come like Chris. Some shit happens to where, like where somebody planted something in a yard. I guess it's the witchy poot. I guess it's the witchy poot. Okay. Uh, something happens. It, it's meant to stop you. I really feel like this is like spell work. This hair is giving me a weird ass feeling and shit. They done stored it, storage, stored it somewhere, or something's in like a box or something. I don't know, G. It's supposed to, so some of y'all, somebody could have said they put a curse on you, or they did some shit, or I don't know what the fuck. Okay, some shit like that, or something y'all believe somebody did or something. It's an illusion, G. You were going, or why would they try to put this up here to stop you if you were going, I mean, if you were doing, I mean, shit, if you were going the wrong way, let's just say that if you weren't on the path. This is somebody or something that's jealous that you're outdoing it, them, something like that. Your spirit guides are about to remove some veil off of whatever this illusion is so you know what it is and cut it the fuck out. Shit, it's dead, it's a, it's dead end, it's a dead end. This could be a relationship. This could represent friends or whatever, like blocking you. You know what I mean? Like, girl, let's just go 
drinking, go whatever. You like, um, I kind of want to go to the gym. You know what I mean? Uh, read to my baby tonight. You know, this type of shit. We just moved. I want to unpack. This will be this type of person and shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, it looks like they want to take you out to have a good time, but it's really to stop you from doing what the fuck you're doing. This is somebody that's going to have a smile on their face, G. It's the devil in a new church hat, G. Period. Okay? Be aware, convent. Yeah, someone wants you to stop those brake lights. You see them lights at the top of that truck? Brakes. Yeah, somebody wants you to stop. Period. Stop moving. Yeah. Like you a tree and shit. Wow. I feel like they're a tree. Tell them to make like a tree and leave. Boom, 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 bing. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Uh, that's what this is. Ooh, -wee. I see y'all working very hard. Uh, a lot of y'all do like manual fucking labor. If you don't do manual labor, whatever you do for work, convent, I don't care what it is, okay? From the from the top to the to the bottom, okay? Y'all work very hard, the group I'm talking to. Y'all could be wealthy people, uh, uh, minimum wage people. Y'all motherfuckers work hard as fuck, you know what I mean? And a lot of people test you, you know what I mean? Don't try to, get, or they don't like to give you your respect, your props and shit, okay? They like to talk a lot of shit. It's like roasting you, wanting you to roast them back and go off on all this other shit. Man, y'all work hard and just think in your lane too this is you working hard not going off on a motherfucker and cutting somebody and shit like i will cut you i will cut you g that's what this is keeping your cool i like it convent so motherfuckers must be out here busting nutties and shit and i don't know if these are the people that wanted you to bust a nutty this feels like people that wanted you to uh so these are people that are trying to convince you to get off the path to righteousness turn around you're going the wrong way and because you keep bucking up against them and shit they're the ones acting crazy it's like, well, I thought you were here to help. Why are you so upset? You know what I mean? You don't seem like someone that's here to help. You're getting a little angry, tense, uh, crazy. You know, that's another way that you're going to know you're going the right way. Okay? Why does it matter to them so much? Why does it matter to this person so much? How about you worry about what the fuck you doing and where the fuck you going? Are you on the path? What do they say? Uh, don't point out the speck in someone's eye when you can't get the log out of your own or can't notice the log in your own. Don't point out the dirt on someone's face when you don't notice the smear on your own. This is you noticing the smear and the and on your face and the log in your eye, and this is somebody who hasn't noticed it on their on themselves, and they want to tell you you going the wrong way, G. Okay, be aware. The fuck. <laughs> the fuck. Something about straight hair. So I don't know. This could be a race thing. You know what I mean? Where somebody wants you to think they're superior over you because of hair texture or skin color or some shit like that. When I just said. About 33 minutes ago that we was moving in neighborhoods where it was a melting pot and working. Like, what the fuck? Like, you don't see people like that. Like, you really do see people as an equal as far as, I mean, I, you can't really say you don't see color because we got fucking eyes. You know what I mean? So that's some bullshit when people say that. I don't see color. Yes, you do. I'm black, girl. Okay? You, you, whatever color you are, boy. Okay? That's just what it is. But, but we real like that. I noticed the, the log in my own eye. So I can tell you about the speck in yours. Like, girl, come on. You know what I mean? That we, this America and the world, period. So race is a thing and shit. It's just you're not driven by that shit. You know what I mean? You don't uh, judge people by that shit or you don't hold it as like some title over people's head and all this other shit. Or uh, that's what this shit is. Some of my white privilege out here, too. Okay? So I, I don't know how that's affecting everybody. Uh, but it's out here, okay? In some type of way. Put something on the path or, or uh, colorism. If it ain't white, it's light shit, okay? Shit, it ain't paper bag brown or uh, pancake brown. You understand? Put something on the um, path to righteousness here. Yeah, you can't sit with us. Yeah, look. You only fuck with, with this shit. So basically, Convict, what this is saying is like, you already left some fucked up shit, right? And got on the path. So basically, you know you were already on some fuck ass shit. That's what this is. I was on some fuck ass shit. I moved on, right? I was stuck, right? Could have been, right? Meaning in your ways, right? Could have been with someone, some way of thinking, something like that. And it's like, now I'm way cooler now. Like I learned how to, you know what I mean? Work on myself. I'm working on these things, right? And it's like, so I don't really hang around the people or do the things that I used to do. You know what I mean? I got on the path to righteousness. This could be somebody from this group here that you don't even fuck with no more. It's coming to try to stop you. This could be family, friends. Be aware this is somebody from the past. 
I feel like these people that didn't want to fuck with you in the first place, you the girl or the boy, right holding the folder. Like, well, fuck you, hoes. Like, you see how these bitches do me? This not shit. Like, you see how these hoes do me, G? Uh, Y'all could have wanted to get into something. You know what I mean? Uh, and they never let you in or never let you join or you never felt a part of something. So you like that. Shit, I need to work on me. I shouldn't let that bother me. Uh, obviously, I don't belong here, says you, convent. We them type of people. You know, it's like, well, obviously he or she didn't want me and shit. Now, granted, it used to make us salty in the past, but the group I'm talking to is like, well, shit, it is pretty fucked up. But shit, I mean, it ain't the end of the world. Fuck that, basically, you know? You got your resting bitch face or your resting, you know, and you moving the fuck on. That's just how you do. I feel like somebody from this group here wants to come and invite you now to come sit with them. And I don't feel like you really give a fuck. You cool. Just say, I'm cool. I done moved on from now. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to work. None of that shit. Yeah, you've uh, spiritually grown a lot. Because don't forget, this is a spiritual message. So you're not even supposed to be sitting when you're on the path. Um, to be on a path means that you're moving, G. A path is like a road or a sidewalk. It's either feet, bicycle, car, train, plane, something. Okay, moving. Even our arms and legs got her moving. Okay, they're saying you can't sit with us. Bitch, that's what had me stuck like a tree. Bitch, I don't want to sit with you. Okay, a lot of y'all are a lot more awakened than... People realize, convent, okay? These are really people attached to earthly things that are coming to, uh, like, uh, tempt you with them. So, like, how we talked about the temptation of Christ. He was hungry, G, okay? Uh, you were hungry once upon a time, but it's like, okay, well, I'm, I found out how to sustain and get food on my own, says you, right? Now you on this uh, healing path. So now you're hungry here. Now the devil wants to say, well, shit, you on this healing path now, convent. Ain't you uh, a child of the divine? Ain't that what y'all call yourself? Divine feminine, divine masculine? This is what the devil gonna tell us. Don't you call yourself divine feminine, divine masculine? Then why God got you out here hurting, hungry, bro? That's what this shit is. It's like, so turn around. You must be going the wrong way is what the devil, this, this devil energy, G. I'm telling you, be aware. It's, gonna, it's going to appear like it's helping you. It's not. It just said motherfuck your ass a while ago. Okay, so a good example is y'all that tried to break into the music industry and shit like a long ass time ago and they said fuck y'all right before all this uh, internet and shit like they did a lot of us like man fuck y'all right and now that times are changing they done went back in the crates uh, now they going through your shit now they like oh well, yeah now we want to sign you and you see motherfuckers turning into pedophile sex trafficking barely getting paid actors crying they all in you like nah no thank you. It's like them trying to say, no, we could change your whole life now. We'll give you this, give you that, give you this. After God really, I feel like you guys got more money than them motherfuckers. Some of y'all on some real shit is saying y'all doing better than the people some of y'all seeing on TV, okay? Or singing your favorite songs and shit or on your favorite shows and shit, okay? And you used to want to be with these people. Or, or it's a lover, okay? Uh, is what this is. Now this person want to be with you and shit. And it's like, you didn't want to be with me before. It wasn't until I got on this path and God started blessing. Like, what's, what's the deal now? It's to get you off. This person ain't coming to join you. Believe that shit. They ain't coming to join you on the path to righteousness. You didn't meet them on the path as far as, oh, you're going this way too? No, this person was here to be a dead end, okay? Uh, this is where you split. That's that splitting airs thing. Yeah, it could be family. But I mean airs as far as H-E-I-R-S, okay? Like an heir to the fucking throne. This is where you part ways with a motherfucker right here, convent. On some real shit. Or maybe you already parted ways with someone, okay? And God has blessed you, put you on some pedestal or something like that. He's giving you something for sure. Where I said you cool and you comfortable. Somebody wants to come and get you off of that shit, okay? Or make you believe you're really not on it, okay? Or make you believe like you're not as good as you really are. God tells you that you are. You feel deep down in your soul. You know what I mean? That you are. It's not going to work. Or just be aware. Let's put one here and see what they say. Somebody's going through somebody's journal too, or or like diary or something like that, or some type of notebook. Okay, or I see you guys just journaling or writing. This somebody like like I don't know if you're writing a book or this is just could be what you do just to you know what I mean release some tension or something. And this is like somebody uh interrupting you. But what you writing in there? It's like oh just you know just stuff. I'll be out in a minute. Says you. It's like, well, hurry up, we're all waiting. It's like to distract you, and it's like, this is the shit that make you be able to kick it with they punk ass. Like, you need to let me write this shit out, okay? Because if I don't get what I need to put out in my little journal, right, when I kick it with you and Becky and them, I'm going to be a whole bitch tonight. So give me 15 minutes, okay? okay. This like this type of shit. 
okay? It's like people trying to stop you from your daily routine or whatever keeps you high vibing in that uh, good ass energy that y'all try to keep, right? Uh, so even if it's a routine, like, no, I gotta be home by this time, have dinner ready, get the kids ready, boop, 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 homework. Like, nah, wash my hair, take my, like, no. Nah. You know what I mean? Somebody out here is trying to uh, get you off of that. And even that cleanliness is next to godliness. You know what I mean? You can't have no messy house, messy, nothing. You know what I mean? It's important to stay, uh, what the Bible say? Uh, it's important to stay fueled in a flame. Don't burn yourself out. It's literally what that said uh, in the Bible, Jay. Okay? I, the, the verse where it was slips me. It may be Proverbs, but I feel like it's somewhere else. Okay? But literally, that's what this is. Taking time for yourself. It's okay. It's okay. So this could be your boss hounding you. You know, where you're like, uh, I'm going to leave early today. You know what I mean? I'm going to take, take half the day off or whatever. You know what I mean? And this is like them trying to, well, you know we have that big report due. Well, you know Cindy did call down and she's on vacation and this and that and the other. It's like, damn, bitch. You know, it's an illusion. They'll figure it out. This is like somebody trying to put something on you, making you feel like, well, if you're not here, the shit won't get done. But I'm only taking a half day off and the shit, I best, I, I'm sure the work will be on my desk tomorrow. Y'all ain't the type of bitches that help a hoe. So I'm sure you and Becky and them ain't about to do the shit, so bitch, it'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, and go past that hoe. See you tomorrow, bitch. I'm out. Shit. Woo. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, convict. Remember in the beginning, I was like, man, you may feel like something weird going on, something supernatural, but, or some old like fuck ass weird shit. And it is, but it's like behind your back. You see how they all snickering and sneering and <laughs> all behind your back and shit. It's that bullshit. But uh, whatever this is, I, I don't feel like you want to be a part of this anymore. It, it's real lame ass shit out here. Okay. And I feel like maybe that's, maybe some of y'all still want to be a part of something. And this is the veil that's going to be removed. Because these are your ancestors coming through. So they, maybe they let you hear something. Remember I was talking about the ghost of the, the past, present, and future. Remember I was like, if they take you to the present, you're going to see what other people are doing. Right? What they're saying about you, what's going on, shit behind the scenes. Or they'll take you to the future where you see yourself and other people. What's to happen? That could be what this is too, Convin. I told you something about astral traveling. So it ain't really about the past. It's not about the past then, which is makes sense. Why the fuck would you want to go back there? You know what I mean? Or, or maybe you need to learn some things about it or accept some things about it or move on. Just move on from it so you can, you know, get to the to the good parts. That's what this is. Some of y'all are about to get, uh, just be good to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are people that were good to you. But they act like it or someone's acting like they're doing something, uh, for your good convent, the mask is about to be pulled off of this person or this situation, and your spiritual team is the one that's about to do it. I'm telling you, it's either going to be a, something in the present or something in the future. Premonition, uh, it could be eavesdropping, overhearing, uh, you just get an omen, shit, a motherfucker send you a text on accident, something. Some, some way you're led to something that you've been wanting to figure out, G, okay? I feel like the reason you're led to this right now is because you're ready to dead some shit, okay? That's what this is. I'm ready to dead some shit. I don't give a fuck what it is, who it is, none of that shit. I'm ready to move the fuck on, live a good life, healthy, happy, all that shit, have my person, have my money, right? Be a good person, give back all the shit God wants me to do, and whatever's in my way, stopping me, I want to dead that shit. It's like y'all are ready to move on. You don't want to sit with these motherfuckers. You don't want to be with them, talk to them, work with them, nothing, okay? And I feel like that's what God was waiting on. For you to throw your hands up type shit, okay? Yeah, look what's at the bottom. The church is not a building, it's the people. Yeah, it's y'all. So where you move, the church goes with you. Remember I told y'all whatever other whatever reading that was. Wherever you put your feet, wherever you move, the kingdom of God is with you, G. What the fuck you want to sit with them for? It, it makes me feel like you the star. It's like, uh, that's why they want to come and uh, kick it with you now. This could be people that know that you ain't going to fuck with them, confident, right? And because they know that, now they want to try to stop you you know what i mean uh so it could be like a an ally turn into a foe right or a foe pretending to be an ally it's one or the other okay but it ain't a real ally on, on either side okay it's just not uh you're about to find out okay something about boiling water hot water someone's in hot water or shit, somebody pass out in a jacuzzi, side note, okay? I don't know if Matthew Perry then came up in here, but this boiling water, right? This my roasting car. Well, it's reversed, but I mean, shit. 
it's somebody dead in it. It's a dead end. I mean, I'm just saying, G. So something about Matthew Perry, this dude look like maybe it's your friends. Okay? I don't know. Not about him and shit, but I'm just saying. This could be in regards to some friends or so-called friends or some shit like that. Okay? Ooh, wait. Somebody name could be Matthew or Perry. Okay? Mm. I do declare. Put one on the uh, dead end split ends here. The night is for thieves. Yeah, I told you there ain't no motherfucking ally. I told you, G. I said this either a, a foe pretending to be an ally or an ally that didn't turn foe. But I knew this wasn't nobody trying to help you get on the path. Come on, G. Why would they? There's no such thing as a dead end on the path. That's the opposite. You're at a dead end if you're not on the path to righteousness. So how could somebody come and convince you that where the way you're going is a dead end? It would only be if you weren't sure uh, where God has you and who you are. So somebody must not uh, think you know who you are, but you're on the path to righteousness. So obviously you do know who you are. I like that you, that this came out in the middle because this lets me know that you were stuck. We all were stuck in a way of being stuck with somebody, stuck at a job, stuck whatever the fuck, just stuck on some shit, okay? Could have been stuck doing some shit, addictions and shit, right? That was killing us, roasting us, burning us, okay? Like going straight to hell on some shit. This is us going straight to hell, okay? Convent. And I don't mean like as far as right now, but I mean as far as we all sinners, G. We were born sinners. So shit, we done all did a little, we done all cut a little rug out in this bitch, okay? Is what this is. But you learn from it, okay? I'm not a tree. I can just move. I can heal. I can pray. I can meditate. I can do these things. I can manifest. I can do all this shit, right? Uh, and you do. And you did. Of course, through God, right? So now you don't you don't want to do those things. I don't want to drink. I don't want to fuck. I don't want to smoke. I don't want to work. I don't want right all this other shit. I don't even, I'm not even into that shit anymore. Says you. Whatever all this shit is that you're not into anymore is about to come and convince you of something, G. Okay? Or it's trying to take something. I told you somebody that took somebody hair, stole somebody hair. It could be a barber or a, 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 a beautician. But somebody that took somebody's hair, I don't know what they doing with it. I'm telling you. It's like in a in a backyard or a a box or something like that. But then I'm not saying the veil. So the mask gonna be ripped off. Mask off. Yeah, future. Fuck it, mask off. Yeah, so now I know it's not even the, the present. It could be where they show you something in the present where I said you could overhear something or uh, uh, a text or an email DM could be accidentally sent or some shit. If, if it is present, it's accident. You happen up on this. Okay, but the fact that this is uh, when I said that your ancestors are gonna rip the mask off and f it's future, then I know. So, this is dreams, premonitions, and shit like that that y'all done had uh, to cut, been told to cut some people off or cut some things out or move or quit or whatever the fuck it is. You about to find out why, G. Number one, because they're they've been planted there, so they're a distraction, they've been purposely put there. I don't know by who, by what, by what entity, or whatever the fuck, but it's damn sure to stop you from moving, okay. Uh, and shit, scratch a liar, find a thief. Okay? So that didn't even have to come out here. So this motherfucker that lied to you already stole something from your ass. Okay? This is whoever this is that's about to try to come convince you that you're going the wrong way. We know that the devil is a liar. That's why they're talking about the temptation of Christ. So he told him, you can jump off of this uh, cliff and the angels will save you. You won't even hurt a heel because you are the son of God or, you know what I mean? You know that you're his chosen and all this. So go ahead and jump. Or bow down to me and I'll give you the keys to Jerusalem. That's what this shit is, G. When you already got the keys. You already on the path, G. Uh, the angels save you no matter what. They, it says the angels took care of him too. After he was tempted by the devil, it says the angels took care of Christ for the rest of his time up in the mountain or the hill, wherever he was in the wilderness, right? They already take care of you. It's like somebody trying to convince you they can give you something that's already yours, G. This is the fake keys to Jerusalem again, G. This is the play school keys and shit. Okay, that your kids play with and shit. Okay, that's what this is. But the but the crazy thing is, Convent, this telling me that you know you already have them. So then that makes me feel like somebody wants to come and steal them. So this is somebody trying to tell you that I don't know if they trying to tell you that they got the keys and you like, well, how is that possible when I when I already have the key? How you gonna give me something that God gave me already? Where's your key for your life? Is what you would say to this person. Why you wanna give me a key? Why why are you so not, why are you why why right? Yeah, it's not true. Something doesn't sit right with this uh, this helping hand here, okay? 
So it's like getting you wrapped up in a contract. We promise to, you know, give you a whole million, million dollars and shit. And it's like you already on, say you built your own business up. And eventually you will be a million, million dollar company, but it'll be your shit. But this will be somebody believing the shit. Like, oh, well, shit, that's a, a shortcut, right? That could be what this is, a shortcut. And they take every fucking thing. Your dreams, your hope, your vibe, your zest for life, everything. You feel like you stuck or enslaved or some shit. I feel like before y'all make a decision comment, uh, it's not even about needing to use discernment and think about it. I'm talking to a group of people where the veil is going to be, or the mask is going to be pulled off. The veil will be removed, okay, for you to see exactly what the fuck this shit is. Now, if you've already seen what this is or who it is for who they are and all this other shit, this person about to try to come back on some whole fugazi ass shit, okay? So I'm sorry I cut you out and went to Tatiana. They want something, G. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry I chose so-and-so over you. I'm sorry I was set with them or went out with them and we treated you. It's because it's the, them bitches treating that hoe like shit now. The bitches ain't that whole friend now. You know what I mean? It's like this type of shit, but it's going to be revealed to you. So before you even think about returning or allowing someone to or to... Uh, Possibly put it some like illusion in front of you. You've either been warned about this as far as they whole fucking life is an illusion and an obstacle. Don't listen to nothing this person got to say, right? You either got this warning already, convent, or you will when this when this scenario happens. So don't doubt your spirit. Don't doubt God ever, right? But don't doubt uh, the account spiritual counsel he appoints for you or the dreams or the premonitions or you hearing his voice. It's not a fucking lie, G. Uh, and, and whatever it is is gonna look real good. That's why I feel like it's urgent that they come down and show you. No, this is a plant. No, this is fake. This is because I feel like whatever it is is trying really, really hard to cast some illusion on you. So you'll never find love. No, you have to stay at this job. You know the economy is bad. How you gonna afford a house? How you gonna get a car? How you gonna do that? How you gonna have a baby? Right? All this other shit, bitch. How the fuck is you gonna do it? Okay, <laughs> that's it's almost like uh, returning that energy back to sender type of shit, but it's because you already know what God told you. So you really don't even have to say that shit. That's just my foul ass mouth and shit. I can't help it, G. You know what I mean? Like I just, uh, you know, but I mean, y'all don't really have to. It's like a knowing that you have, but that don't stop the thieves from trying to steal. Remember I said thieves don't rob empty houses. Do you remember when I said that earlier? That's why I said, how are they telling you this a dead end, G? This is somebody that really don't like your ass. So why would somebody that really don't like you come and fucking help you all of a sudden? Or somebody that picked another bitch all of a sudden who just went broke, nasty, dirty, and now all of a sudden they want to come to you because they realize they love you? No, they realize it's a broke, dirty, nasty bitch, and you're better, okay? Uh, all this shit about to be pulled, though. The wool uh, that's been over some of y'all's eyes, all that shit. Somebody out here, but in your defense comment, for those where this applies to you, you resonate with this, right? These people or this person did a good ass job of hiding that shit from your ass. This could be your family. This shit could have been going on for years. This would be like brainwashing, okay? For you to stay in a specific lane. You know what I mean? So you don't go and do and be and have and all that shit, okay? Makes me feel like a lot of y'all hit dead ends. If, if this been going on, say this your family, right? And they've been just been kind of blocking you all your life, you feel like? That's why shit ain't been working. You're like, damn, every time I get a person, we break up. Every time I get a job, some reason I lose it. Or every time I move, I always have to move back with my family. It's like some crazy shit always happens. I feel like it's been like implanted in you. Yeah, that could be what that plan is too. Something's been implanted in you, okay? Since you were young, because yeah, some of y'all, you weren't young, because the baby is reversed. So some of y'all, it's not from a young age. Some of y'all, it's for... People you work with, neighborhood, you know, family could have just started doing it. They could be in-laws, friends, whatever the fuck. Some of y'all has been happening to y'all since kids, since y'all were kids. Either way, it's still uh, somebody claiming to love you, have your best interest at heart, right? Wanting to give you the keys to Jerusalem. Wanting to claim, like, I see you're hungry. Uh, turn these breads into stone. You have to, like, convince you that you're all of this and all of that. And they really don't believe it. The devil was gassing Jesus up, G. He was gassing his ass up, G. If you read it, that's what he was doing, like trying to pump his head up. That's what they're going to do now. Uh, try to pump your head up. Be aware, okay? You don't need these people to pump your head up. When you wanted them to help pump your shit up, they weren't helping then. You had to pump it up on your own. This is like uh, self-esteem. This is like uh, self-encouragement, okay? But you were kind of forced into this shit. You know what I mean? Like, people got cold on your ass. This being cool. This people moving on, getting cold on your ass, just leaving you standing there like a fucking tree. Right? You're like, well, shit. You know what I mean? This uh, kind of stings. You know what I mean? You didn't have no choice but to turn to God. 
okay, or to spirituality or to heal or work on yourself, work on your mind, your emotions, your finances and shit like that. You didn't have, everybody done left your motherfucking ass. Everybody done abandoned you or they talk shit about you or they make fun of what you're doing or, you know, your color or this or that. It's always something. These are the same motherfuckers about to come back up in your face talking about, uh, I can give you the keys to Jerusalem if you kiss my feet, okay? They still got that arrogant ass tone, you know? That's why uh, Jesus really was a smart man, G. Because it's almost like, well, if you're so powerful, devil, right? And you can just give me shit. Why do I have to jump off a cliff, uh, endanger my life? You know what I mean? For angels to prove that. You know what I mean? It's like the way he was asking them to do shit. Should, it tipped them off. I don't even have to say it should have tipped them off. It did. That's, he really was a smart, wise, common sense man. It's like, why would you want to help me, devil? <laughs> I know all about you. So now all of a sudden you want to tell me how to turn stones into bread? Now you want to give me the keys to Jerusalem? Now all of a sudden you're telling me, oh, I'll, if I jump, I sense you know I'm who I am and God will say and all this other shit. Now you on my team? Something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong. Pay attention to how people are presenting shit to you. The, whoever this is or whatever this is is so arrogant, it's still going to throw itself in there. It's still going to want you to bow down to it. Let's put it that way. Whatever this is, is going to want you to concede, bow down, say, okay, you're right. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, I'll still la stay later. Well, yeah, this and that. Well, yeah, you can have it. Well, yeah, uh, I won't say that anymore. Well, yeah, I'll just quit. This is this type of shit, okay? Be aware of this shit. Be aware of this shit. Because obviously it makes me feel like, yeah, it's your presence, not the presence and shit. Yeah, so somebody may think it's like what you do, your gift and shit. So this could be somebody trying to get you out of a certain job or a certain industry or career because you just mopping their ass up, right? And let's say you stop. You just going to go somewhere else and be the same bright light somewhere else and do the same thing. Somebody feels like if you, so this could be somebody like in a relationship, right? And they feel like if they get you out of the way, then their man won't look at you or their woman won't look at you. And you're like, shit, I'm not even looking at that motherfucker, nor do I want him anymore or ever. I don't know what the situation is, Convent. Best believe here come that mother, here come the bitch, right? Here come the bitch that want to make sure, make sure you're not looking at my man or my woman. Like this old fuck ass shit. It's like, it, it kind of deters you from the person that they think you want. Even though you don't want them, it's almost like if they're laid up with you, someone like you that's that insecure, worried about me, right? And not even worried about the actual person that you think I want. I don't even want them. Why would they want someone as insecure as you? Like, ew, you know? It's an illusion. So it's like an insecure bitch wanting you to feel insecure because her man won't choose. How the fuck is that possible, bitch? <laughs> You're over here worried about me. You're on my dick. You're on my page. You're constantly talking about me, watching, doing what I do with everything. It's like that doesn't make me feel like I'm insecure. It makes me feel like you're insecure because you're still saying that I want something that you have, but you're still coming to me trying to offer me something or it's, it doesn't make any sense. You're also very smart people, G. Very, 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 very smart people, okay? Damn. That, that's why they said it's an illusion. It's air uh, is what it is. Not necessarily an air sign, but it's like, it, it. look what the wind blew in and blew out. You know what I mean? Whatever this is, is not permanent. So if there's, like I said, some type of obstacle or something, conflict or some type of mind fuckery or some shit you feel like is going on and you know it. It's not even like you feel it. You fucking know it because this shit came out. Like something going on behind your back. Something moving and going on behind your back. Some, some fuck ass shit. You right. Uh, but whatever it is, it's so arrogant and ignorant and pompous, they said, and ego-driven, it's going to present itself. Your ancestors are a part of this. Your spiritual team are a part of this happening, of it presenting itself. But the devil is here, too. And the devil's ego is big, okay? He wants to be seen. He wants you to kiss his feet, okay? And worship him so you can get these fake-ass keys. So whoever this is, like I said, is going to present themselves. And you're going to treat them just like Christ did. You know what I mean? Get the, whatever he said, get the away from me, Satan, or whatever he said, fuck off, pretty much. Okay? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. Yes, thank you for her. They like, that is not what he said, huh? I know, I mean, you know, but you're right, that is what he said, though. Thou sh yeah, that's what he said. Uh, you know? Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So you know when the pit bulls come out, or the shotguns, or the lights, or the ring light, and all that shit, the, the thief will run. Yes. It's like you protected yourself. 
You're expecting whatever this is. You just don't know who, what, where it's coming from or any of that shit. But it's so arrogant again. And they said pompous and ego driven that it's going to show yourself. So some of y'all like, I don't know if it's uh, Keisha, Tisha, Lawanda, Tawanda. All of them fuck ass bitches, right? Yeah, but it's one, okay? It's one that's about to try to come. I have a feeling it's the one that talked the fucking most. She's standing out, this one with this white tank top on. I feel like it's her. It's a bitch that can't shut her mouth or a dude. This the one, okay? Mm -mm. I don't understand why I mean they're saying y'all very So don't doubt yourself I guess is why Okay yeah new levels New devils they said so the tricks get trickier Convent We used to motherfuckers just saying fuck you Fuck you Yeah tell that bitch I said like oh that Right that's why you healed anyway Y'all took a lot of lickings and kept on ticking Okay, a whole lot of no's, fuck you, get out of here, you're fired, you don't get the money, you're in red, car broke, tow, home, all that shit, okay? So it's not really much that can, like, that's why y'all cool as a cucumber. So that's why whatever this is, is going to think that it can offer you something. Because it knows you've already been through hard times and shit, or who, or whatever this is, knows that you're a survivor. So it's going to try to offer you something to where you never have to work again. You, n you never have to lift a finger again. All you have to do is suck my dick. Uh, this is like what this is. They're going to offer you something. It's going to be good. I'm telling you. It's a trick. I feel like, man, uh, don't act on anything immediately, Convent, at all. Ask for God's, like, uh, even if you got to say, God, give me a sign, like, right now. Like, you know what I mean? Not a yes or no, but give me a sign that I should wait. Anything. Just show me something. I don't know what will happen, but something will. I have a feeling it will. You'll start coughing, got to piss immediately. That person phone will ring. Something. Okay, and you'll know. It's making me feel like if you want to know, you will know, G. For those where you don't know. Like you're not sure of someone's intentions. Uh, it sounds really good. It sounds convincing. I don't know. Right? Number one, check how you feel about some shit. That energy don't lie. Okay? Uh, and some of y'all are just real steadfast on what you believe in. So uh, we know Christ was hungry, but I ain't about to uh, turn no stones into no bread uh, and, and abuse my power. Just especially if you telling me to do it, devil. No. Some of y'all are real, you know what I mean? Steadfast in who you are and sure about that shit. So this going to be easy to knock down. You probably the one with the pit bull, the shotgun, the, the ring light. Like, you know, using that as an example, meaning you're prepared because uh, you know thieves don't rob empty houses. You know if you're on the right track, somebody always trying to come and get you off track. If you do going up, somebody always trying to bring you down. If you're this, someone's always trying to do that. You just know. So you prepare for this shit. Others of y'all, you're going to be surprised, okay? By who, I guess. I don't know. Let's see, is that what this is? That they just shouldn't doubt what's up? They going the right way? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I told you something wants you to bow to it. Okay? Want you to concede this shit. Like, yes, you are my master then. Yes, I will kiss your feet for the fake ass keys. I'm telling you, that's why you need to know. It's gonna it's gonna come and look just like you. It could be a fake uh false counterpart. Okay, some of y'all could be somebody you related to and you look like this person or you work with this person. Y'all wear the same uniform. Y'all work at the same place. It's something. This is why you need to know because it's going to mimic you. Whatever you like. Yeah, it's about to whatever you like your ass. Okay, so be aware of something that's too accommodating. And, uh, oh, you finished my sentence right after I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's too coincidental and shit. All that old, that shit ain't, man, come on, man. The devil tricky, G. It's like somebody who's been watching your ass and your favorite color is yellow and they come over with just a, a basket of lemons, sunflowers and shit. You're like, how did you know we must be connected? No, that motherfucker wants you to bow down and shit. Bitch, I know your color, favorite color yellow, hoe. Yeah, you want this, don't you? When you can easily go, you know you can go get lemons and sunflowers anytime you want. This is like, don't be impressed by some shit. It, it's, it's giving me like, somebody wants you to be impressed by some shit that you could go easily do for yourself. You've been doing for yourself. Or God has assured you that you, you're going to have this but through me. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get it. Not through this motherfucker. Okay, be aware of something coming way too easy, G. And I, I feel like y'all work very hard. So some of y'all may feel like, finally, finally, it has happened to me. Right, y'all dancing and shit. I don't know, cuz, <laughs> for real. Okay, be careful. Because whatever this is, don't forget it wants you to concede and bow down. 
So some of y'all, let's use the music as, as an example, right? They finally like your shit. you like, finally, it has happened to me, right? But not really if they're telling you, change this, change that, don't say that, don't do this. Leave that, don't do that, say this, rap this, sing that, cut your hair, no. Nah. You got to be like, well, yes, I will for this amount. It's like... When God was like, no, you get to stay you, be you, still do your thing, get the money and everything. It's like somebody getting super excited about some shit, okay? Like somebody who ain't never touched money, dick, pussy, a home, a, a, a luxury vehicle, designer clothes, jewels, all that shit, okay? A lobster tail, something. It's something like that, okay, convent? If they go, whatever it is, it's going to be sweet smelling. I'm telling you, it is, okay? That's why you need to know. It doesn't look like the, it's the devil in a new church act. New church hat. Put one more here before we go to Patreon. Because I want to know why you need to know. Look. Okay. Look at the man figures at the bottom. But it says, an oath to serve the people with the power to destroy them. Okay. Like I promise, I swear, I'm a good friend, I'm a good... Look. But of course, you know I had my fingers crossed in the words of the great Biggie. Yeah. Yeah, somebody with a title. This is somebody that has some authority, some power, so they say they could. You know what I mean? This could be a CEO, a politician, a, a millionaire, billionaire, a scientist, a, what, a, a athlete. I don't know. I feel like it's somebody that got more than you uh, is what it is. And for some reason, this person wants to get out of their lane. Whatever it is that the devil gave them is entertaining them with. They want to come and get in your lane and tell you that you're going the wrong way and they're actually on the path to righteousness. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the devil pretending to be God. Okay, it, it's a false counterpart uh, is what this is. Okay, a false, uh, I want to put divine there because that's literally how they're going to act. So it's a false divine counterpart. I could say it's a karmic partner, but no, they're going to come off like a divine person, like a healthy, healing, holy, righteous person. This could be somebody at your church. This could be a neighbor like, oh no, I'll watch your kids. Yeah, I'm this type of shit, you know what I mean? And they have a playroom for their kids and you're in a one bedroom and it's like, well, I mean, shit, I want my kid to be happy and play. So sure, they can come over and play and some whole crazy shit going on over there. This is somebody that uh, has something that you would, that you could use. I'll put it to you that way. They have something that you could use or that you would like to have, but be aware, y'all. Be aware. It's like getting you wrapped up in some shit, and it's like they have no intentions of really doing it or the fine print is what I heard. The, so if Jesus had to kiss uh, the devil's feet for them keys to Jerusalem, G, I feel like he would have kicked them in the mouth first. You know what I mean? Of course, he wouldn't have got no keys, but ain't no telling. You know what I mean? Like he would have destroyed them. After you told me that you were going, you swore that you were going to give me the keys. It's like, look what you, you know, if he was a dummy, but he's not. Uh, and they're comparing you to him again, as far as your common sense and shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on, come on, toots. My name is the prince. Yes. Besides, would a lunatic have a Porsche like this? That's exactly what he's saying, G. That's exactly what he's saying. And you're like, that's true. I've never seen a lunatic in a Porsche before. I'll get in. Be aware, G. That's why this reading, is, it's like, it feels safe. It feels like um, a possibility, an opportunity, okay? But it also is going to want you to bow down to it and, and suck its dick and kiss its feet. And that is the telltale sign because we only worship one. So why is this or whoever this is or whatever this is asking you? That's another telltale sign too. It's a lot of signs here that let you know this is an illusion. That's another way. We only worship one God and we know he's a jealous God. Okay? It says showing love for one. Well, the other one, uh, well, what does it say? There'll be contempt for the other or something like that. So you, it's impossible. It's impossible to love money and God too is what the Bible says. Okay? This is something that's going to want you to like worship it. And you can't worship God and this. Whatever this is. That's how you're going to know. It's going to take you away from him. Okay? And it's going to want you to like... Uh, like uh, spend a lot of time, energy, effort, meditation, prayer, offer everything. Your body, love, everything on it. Everything you have that God gave you, it wants it. That's how you're going to know, okay? We're about to go to Patreon, dig a little bit deeper in this reading, y'all. But uh, So click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube if you'd like to follow us on Patreon. If not, y'all, that's been right back Monday. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my Trippin' or Not Tarot. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear. Your life like that, right? When this comes out in February, it's not out yet. We just 
fucking around, okay? But you'll be able to purchase that at thegettonun.com, okay? And I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.